Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. It's Friday morning already. This week has just flown by. It's a coffee kind of morning. Uh, today, as much as I love the uh, favorite sides um, of what I've been doing uh, lately, um, and I want to get back into which album is better as well. I really like that comparing two bands or even two albums from a band uh, and seeing which one is better. But uh, as I promised, I'm going to get into this great box set. This is the studio albums from the band Van Halen from 1978 to 1984. Basically the David, uh, David Lee Roth era of the band. Um, and talking from the start of this particular album their debut album, self-titled Van Halen. Make that my thumbnail. Um, I won't be playing any uh, music on this video because it'll get just get blocked and I probably won't throw the, uh, the look at the series. So um, if you haven't heard of Van Halen, uh, I suggest listening to them for sure. Um, you probably know most of their um, hits, but uh, they got some awesome deep cuts, and um, yeah. But I do have, uh, I do own uh, the first album on vinyl as well, and I do own uh, 1984. They're probably the most commercially successful album. With, the, with David Lee Roth um, on vinyl as well. Uh, before I forget, please hit the like and subscribe button below if I already haven't said that. Uh, I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed so far. You guys have been amazing. I really appreciate all your comments. I'm trying to respond to all the comments that you uh, have been giving me and I greatly appreciate that. So as, as I said earlier, I have more uh, of the Sammy Hagar version of Van Halen and they were actually more commercially successful with him than they were with David Lee Roth. Um, so I have For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge and I have Balance and for some reason two of OU812. So I haven't done a giveaway yet, so maybe I'll do a giveaway at some point in time. Uh, I'm trying to get my subscribers up before I start into something like that. But anyway, uh, let's get on to talk about this album. This is a remastered version. It's a great box set. Um, David Lee Roth was anything, if anything, uh, was a great, or still is, a great performer. Um, perhaps not the, I don't, don't want to sound critical right off the bat, but um, not uh, as a singer, maybe, uh, maybe not the greatest singer, but he made for it, made up for it, uh, for his showmanship. Um, I think Sammy Hagar is a better singer. Um, but David Lee Roth put on an amazing performance. Uh, I did actually see them um, way, way back in uh, Maple Leaf Gardens um, and uh, was quite impressed by what I saw. Uh, this guy jumping 10 feet in the air, doing the side splits, like uh, just very, very aerobatic, uh, a super amazing front man. Of course, you had Eddie Van Halen, uh, one of the best guitarists ever, um, and a solid rhythm section in Michael Anthony and uh, Alex Van Halen. Um, on bass and drums consecutively. So for those of you that don't know who Van Halen is, and I can't believe there's anyone out there that doesn't know Van Halen, um, American rock band formed in Pasadena, California in 1972. Best known of course for their lead guitarist uh, Eddie Van Halen, again one of the top guitarists of all time. Um, the band was named and inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007. From 74 to 75, uh, Van Halen consisted of 
uh, on guitar Eddie Van Halen, um, drums his brother Alex Van Halen, bassist Michael Anthony, and frontman and lead singer David Lee Roth. Um, the self-titled album Van Halen <clears throat> reached number 19 on the, on the uh, Billboard charts. This one here, again it Showing it a couple times, but um, by the early '80s, the band was uh, one of the most successful rock bands of all time, or at the time. Sorry, not maybe of all, all time, but at the time. Uh, their album "1984," which is part of this package as well. Maybe I should show the package first. So, included in, in uh, their first album. Van Halen 2, Women and Children First, Fair Warning, Diver Down, and of course their big hit with David Lee Roth 1984. So again, I digress a little, uh, going a little backwards here, but um, the album 1984 was uh, a huge hit, and lead singer, um, sorry, the lead single, Jump, was the band's only number one single at that point uh, with David Lee Roth. Uh, in 1985, Roth was replaced with former Montrose singer. Uh, Sammy Hagar, and if you ever heard Montrose, definitely check them out. Great, great rock band, Ronnie Montrose, Sammy Hagar, great combination. <clears throat> uh, with Hagar, they released four number one albums. I don't have uh, I don't have 5150, but uh, Oh You Wait One Two uh, in 1988, number one album uh, for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge in 1991, number one album, and Balance in 1995, number one album. <coughs> so, for those of you that don't like the Hagar years, you can't, uh, can't beat the fact that they uh, had these four number one albums in a row. Uh, in 2019, Van Halen um, is 20th on the list of best-selling artists in the U.S. Uh, they've sold uh, 56 million albums in the U.S. alone and more than 80 million albums worldwide. Just an amazing band. Uh, up until 2007, they were the only um, one of five rock bands with two studio albums. Uh, that have sold more than 10 million copies. Quite an accomplishment. Um, they've charted 13 number one hits uh, in the history of main mainstream rock charts and they've been ranked number seven on the top of uh, 100 raw hard rock bands of all time. So no slouches. Uh, great great band. Um, the self-titled album released in 1976 peaked at number 19, as I said earlier, on the Billboard's 200, and sold over 10 million copies in the U.S., and uh, was certified plat um, platinum. Uh, the album features great, great songs. Um, starts off with Running With The Devil, a uh, great bass run right off the beginning. Uh, the huge guitar solo Eruption. Following up with the remake of the Kinks, a harder version of You Really Got Me. Um, Ain't Talking About Love, another great classic by the band. Um, just Ain't Talking About Love, and then I'm the One, Hard Rockin', I'm the One. Jamie's Crying, a big hit off the album. Uh, another hard rocker, Atomic Punk. Just just great, great from the beginning. Fear Your Love Tonight, 
Little Dreamer, um, a remake of the great uh, blues singers and player uh, John Brim's Ice Cream Man, uh, sort of a funky, bluesy version of Ice Cream Man, and again another hard rock around on fire. This album rocks. There's no doubt about it. It just rocks. I wish I could play it for you. I will be leaving a Spotify playlist below, so check that out. But I know it'd get blocked big time. Uh, so right off the get go, I'm gonna rank this a number uh, 10 out of 10. There's no doubt about it that it's a uh, an amazing debut album. Despite the covers, uh, they do it a great version on the covers. Um, again, they they punch them up a notch. Um, and as much as I love the Kinks, um, uh, definitely a softer version that really got me. And um, just to be so versatile and so right off the get-go, just uh, right in your face type of band, just amazing. So again, as much as I would love to play music for you, uh, I just know it's going to get blocked, so we won't do that. But uh, check out Van Halen, check out this box set, it was pretty decently priced. Uh, it's an amazing introduction to Van Halen. But also check out the Sammy Hagar years. Um, some great some great albums. Again, Balance and For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge and OU812 and 5150, which I don't have but I will get. Um, Sammy Hagar can play, great guitarist, also awesome singer. Um, and uh, you'd be pleasantly surprised. Uh, there's two camps. The uh, David Lee Roth era and the uh, Sammy Hagar era. And um, it's almost like two different bands. But uh, both unique on their own. So check that out again. I gave this album their debut album a 10 out of 10. Next, I'll be looking at uh, Van Halen 2, another huge, another huge hit for the band. So we'll keep looking for that one. Again, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Leave your comments. I'll try to respond to any comment that's given, and I, I hopefully I've done a good job on that. I appreciate everyone um, leaving comments. I appreciate everyone liking and subscribing. You guys have been awesome. Uh, have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.